the CDC describes a concussion as a traumatic brain injury caused by a bump or blow to the head or by a hit to the body that causes the brain to bounce around and move inside the skull. Despite this, there is no structural damage to the brain after concussion, which is why imaging such as MRI will not show the condition and is often not recommended. A concussion is actually a functional disturbance rather than a structural issue. The forceful acceleration followed by deceleration of the head causes nerve cells to be stretched and deformed. This leads to what are known as action potentials, which cause chemicals to be released. These chemicals disrupt the process of energy production in the mitochondria. The mitochondria are the powerhouses that are responsible for producing ATP, the molecule that provides the chemical energy needed for most cellular processes in our body. During a concussion, we see an increase in the use of ATP, but also a decrease in the production of ATP. This creates an imbalance, which may explain why those concussed often feel depressed and a lack of energy. There are many other disturbances that happen to the normal brain function after a concussion, such as headaches, dizziness, lack of concentration, and visual disturbances. Because of the whiplash mechanism to the head, there is often injury to the neck. This can cause symptoms that mirror the issues that happen during a concussion. For this reason, an examination of the cervical spine and upper body is often recommended. Normally, a concussion will resolve after 10 to 14 days. When symptoms linger past this period and go on for months, the condition is known as post-concussion syndrome. At this point, medical attention should be seeked out. Aerobic exercise has been shown to improve function and connectivity of nerve cells within the brain, as well as brain healing factors. Therefore, physical therapists and athletic trainers will often play a crucial role in recovery. Concussions are complex injuries that attack multiple systems within the body. Fortunately, the world has put this condition under a microscope, and research continues to be conducted in order to solve this puzzle. Thanks for watching. No motion.